Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing this problem. I'm gonna solve it live right about now. Uh, 976, largest parameter triangle. Given an array A of positive lengths, we turn the largest parameter of a triangle with non-zero area formed from three of these lengths. If it is impossible to form any triangle of non-zero area, we turn zero. Okay. Uh, how many numbers are there? So the length is 10,000, so you cannot do any naive n cube algorithm. Um, but that's interesting though. Hmm. This is a easy. Okay. But I think, hmm. The question is then, can I do anything greedy with the problem? Hmm. All it has to do is have non-zero areas, so it doesn't have to be that much bigger than zero. Um, so if we just take the f the biggest three numbers, can we figure it out? Or do hmm? But basically, if you're given a list that you sort, so we sort first. By by the uh, the largest number, uh, largest order first. Then, let's say in this case we have six three three two. Well, this number we just check to whether these three right, and if it's true, then we could already immediately return it, um, the sum of these parameters. If this is not true, what does that mean, right? Well, that means that six is too big. So we have to get a number that's slightly smaller. And because we're already looking at the two largest number, we just have to shift it to the one to the right. So in this case, now we look at the last three, uh, yeah, the next three numbers. I think that's roughly right. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Because if, if you have a number that's too big, then there's no other, other combination of numbers that you know because you sorted this already there's no other possibility that two numbers in there are greater add up to greater than seven right in this case so okay so now we can just do um a to a b c and sip of a a sip one a sip two oops and then if B plus C is greater than A, you return A plus B plus C, at the very end we turn 0. Okay. Uh, okay, and then now we have to put in all the other test cases. Uh, so this is an example of a greedy algorithm um, with sorting. So I don't know, it's good practice for an easy problem because it it's not a problem that you would have done before because it's so ad hoc unless you really like triangles but but you know once you've done that um you know it's just greedy and at least for me i always feel like greedy um yeah greedy just requires more practice for me because i have to prove it correct but yeah in terms of uh I mean, in terms of a greedy algorithm, I think this is a great way to practice greedy. I don't think by itself it's a problem that I would give as an interview because it requires a little bit of playing around with these numbers than maybe a normal problem. Though that that said, this problem is a little bit elementary, so maybe that'll be okay. Um, but yeah, for part two, and sorting is pretty basic, and it gives us a structure that we allow allow to uh allowed to solve this problem and as i said the thing is after sorting and getting the biggest number first the observation is that well if you know in a greedy kind of way you always want to take the largest three numbers but if it's not so you have to think about well if it's true then you already have the largest three numbers in the set so so you cannot get any bigger number so you return it but if it's not true how do you get from this you know trying this candidate and then trying another candidate right um candidate answer and I think that is um, an insight that you know that's within reach for most people or should be yeah okay 
yeah, uh, for competitive, there's a lot of math free things. So I think this is good practice, even if, uh, and for like someone like Code Force, this may be like a problem A and Diff 2 or something like that, right? And that's really standard. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this point.